Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play KOTOR. Right, let's have a word with HK. Let's see what else he's got to say. Query, is there someone that you need killed, Master? No, uh... Hmm... We you stop asking that? Statement, <laughs> Master assassination is my primary function. It is only expected that when you speak to me, it is to give me the order to kill. Well, it isn't, so stop asking me that. <laughs> I order you to stop asking me who I need killed. Statement. Oh, very well, Master. No doubt you are bothering me because you wish to interrogate me with harmless, non-lethal questions. Or perhaps you need the deck of your freighter scrubbed, or an exciting alien text translated. My circuits are abuzz <laughs> with anticipation of what your next task will be for me that does not involve ending the life of an organic meat bag that deserves death. I, I well, I, yeah, the idea was about the non-lethal thing. Statement. Ah, uh, you wish to conduct an interrogation? Very well, proceed. Let's, um... <laughs> okay, enough with the interrogation already. When I ask you questions, I mean I'll ask you questions without torturing you. Statement. Master, I am no behavior droid, but it is obvious to me that you have serious ethical problems that will need to be treated at some point. Very well. Ask your questions. If you feel the need to make it an interrogation, however, <laughs> do not restrain yourself. I would be saddened if you held back. Right. Let's see. So you look a lot like a series of joys that have attacked me. Answer. Oh, That's that right. Okay. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to say because you know, I kind of didn't say this last time, so I want to say this now. Well, there are at least four now other different versions of you in the galaxy. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. You're not. You're not. Actually, uh, the series of HK50 units sharing a model and function that we've encountered on multiple occasions. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist mm. in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. I do. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. You okay? Mockery. Am I all right? <laughs> oh, yes, master. Why, I am fine. <laughs> Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are, in fact, hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. Good. So it seems I need you. For the time being. IT3, I do, um. Maybe we could talk about them. Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? Um. Do you know why they're hunting me? Answer. Well, Master, it seems you have become a popular individual in the galaxy. This is somewhat surprising to me, since this dissemination of information could not have been caused by your actions alone. What do you mean? Statement. Master, there is mention of you specifically in the core word databases, even in public terminals on Coruscant. Oh. Observation. I was led to believe that this information concerning Jedi was not for public consumption, yet somehow it has been made known to them. Why would someone do that? Conclusion. Someone wants everyone to know that you exist, Master, and that you are back in Republic space. If I did not know better, which is computationally impossible, <laughs> I believe that someone wants to make you a target, and they are succeeding admirably. Aren't they just... but who? Answer. Master, my feeling would be the exchange. But that doesn't seem to be enough to answer the question, however. Rhetorical. Why wouldn't they have simply kept the information to themselves? Such an answer does not address the central question. And that is, why someone would choose to broadcast your location all over the known galaxy? Theory. My suspicion is that someone is using you as bait for a larger target, who is unknown at this time. 
Korea. Um, what about these clones? Let's see if I've missed anything. Statement. What of them? Like, why do you need me? I guess because they're after me, and so you want to kill them. So you're using me as bait as well. Statement. Master, there are two reasons for this. One, the probability of them showing up around you is statistically high. Mm -hmm. If I travel with you, then my chances of encountering these clones is also high. The second reason is a little more complicated. You see, even though those clones are obviously cheap, artless imitations of me, well, they are still me. What are you talking about? Answer. Somehow these droids are built from my schematics. This causes certain complications. Answer. Because of my self-preservation program, my behavior core recognizes these templates as still being me, despite their individuality. I could no more shoot them than I could shoot myself. Oh, it's God. a frustrating situation that has been looping through my behavior core for some time. So when we meet them, they're going to be bloody... You're going to be useless. Is that what you're saying? I see. Is there anything else? Do you know why they're hunting me? Answer. Well, Master, it, this is somewhat surprising to me since... Right, okay, all the questions. Who was your previous Master? Answer. Master, ironically oh. enough, I seem to have developed a sudden bout of memory loss. Hmm. I shall struggle to recall an answer to your question, but for now, it is sadly beyond my capabilities. Consolation. Besides, you are a fine master. Do not be worried about being rendered insignificant if I were to inadvertently compare to some silly old master I once possessed. Okay, what else? Statement. Bless you. Um, Alright, so how did you get scattered all over the galaxy? Theory. Well, Master, I believe I was shot repeatedly. Once reduced to my component parts, I suspect pieces of me were sold across the galaxy. Statement. I am an extremely valuable piece of equipment after all, Master. Mm. My parts were no doubt costly to obtain, and their new owners hesitant to part with them. Uh, it did set me back. Well, it was, it was a bit of a pain, yeah. Statement. That is indeed unfortunate, Master. It is merely another thing my attacker will answer for. I would be most distressed if you were to shoot me, attack me, or dismember me in any way. I do not wish to repeat the experience. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Do you know anything about the Sith uh, hunting us? Answer. No, Master, no. I do not. I am afraid I have been out of touch with the Sith for many years. This new Sith threat fights differently than the ones I was familiar with. These seem to favor stealth and assassination to achieve their ends. Any idea where they might be striking from? Answer. No, no, Master. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Yeah. Theory. It is possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several. Consolation. But I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. Good Clean to know! Metaphor. Uh, yeah. No, you can say that again. Query, Master, excuse me, but how is it you know so many languages? That's a good question. I picked up a summons in Oh, I'm sorry, because it wasn't a translator. I did, didn't I? Hmm. And I got it from one of your fellows, didn't I, or something? I can't remember now. No, something to do with it. Query, may I see it? Why? Answer, because it seems to know all the languages I do, and I am feeling degrees of familiarity and inferiority both at once. Go on then. Go on, yeah, yeah, fine. Observation, this is indeed familiar. 
Indeed, it seems to be modeled after my vocabulator, with some modifications, of course. Curious. You say you obtained this device on Paragus. Yes. Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including tracking your position for any HK units in the vicinity. Oh! What? Oh! I knew I had something to do with that HK unit. Uh, which is, explains, of course, why they keep finding me. What should we do with it? Observation. Master. I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including tracking your position. It is sending out a passive carrier wave that signals itself to HK units in the vicinity. I wonder what vicinity means. What, like 100 meters? A light year? I mean, <laughs> this is Star Wars. Uh... Then we should probably destroy it. Objection. Master, they do not know we have discovered it, which means the advantage is ours. Statement, I suspect when the time is right, this device can be used to pinpoint the location of the HK factory. So you and can I, use it to track them. I mean, we can deal with them once and for all. Cool, so we, uh, so we just wait? Answer. Master, the nature of the signal from the sonic imprint sensor is such that we must wait until it is signaled. Mm -hmm. It does not please me any more than it does you, but one of the primary traits of an assassin or assassin droid is patience. I, mean, I don't think Anna knows too many traits of the assassin. Uh, some other Statement. Ah. Other questions I think. No, wait a minute. We've got one more. For a sophisticated assassin droid, you don't seem as advanced as you should be. It just goes and shoots me in the face, although he may well need upgrading and such. Statement. Master, you wound me. Not physically, but in my behavior core. <laughs> it is true that I once possessed many more protocols and upgrades. But time and damage has taken its toll. And I am afraid that I have a rather long history of memory problems, which has also compromised my effectiveness as well. Still, you will find me a valuable asset master, willing and able to terminate anything you point me towards. We can upgrade you as well, I'm sure, just like we did in the last game. I wonder whether... I really get, want to get his influence up to see whether he, ref he refers to um, Revan. Anyway, well, that was a nice little chat, wasn't it? Wasn't that lovely? So I think we're going to head off again. Um, the only thing I'm sort of curious about is uh, his stats and stuff. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to take him on this on this little uh, excursion. But I am going to leave the Edmund. I'm going to like just bring him for now, if you like, and. Whoever. I'm going to keep the same party as before, but I want to level him up and see what he's got in terms of skills and abilities and such. He's leveled up as Ready I would have I'd expected. So yeah, he's evil. Um, level 6. I have a feeling that I've got this guy pretty early in the game and yet he's level 6 and we're level 13 so we have a lot of leveling to do. Strength and dexterity is pretty high, intelligence is formidable, and wisdom's alright as well. Uh, currently, let's see, he doesn't, he won't have many skills, will he? Demolition's a little bit, some awareness, but he's not really that sort of character, is he? He's more of a... Well, we're going to get any of this either, really. He's, he can use a blaster rifle, he can, yeah, he'd use upgrades for now. It's pretty tough, as you'd expect. Um, let's see, what does this do? Defense, defense bonus in combat. Okay, so that's really good. And also, as well as that, plus four in defense. So he's just good at defense. Okay, right, let's get him leveled up. And, um, this might take a little while. So we've got the upgrade glass two already. So this one's going to be relatively simple because his skills don't matter too much at all anyway, so... We'll just keep doing what he kind of has already, if you like. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'll accept that, and then do it again. Or attributes. So let's see.
skills, you see, isn't really that much in... I think it's just dexterity, really, that I want from this guy, because how to hit and ranged attacks, which is what he sort of, like, does, isn't it? So we'll... I guess we'll put it in dexterity and just keep it as that. Either that or constitution. But I'm more of an offensive sort of minded player. You losers. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm just gonna yeah, upgrade that. Okay. Uh, again, skills. Where's his feet and stuff? Where's the good stuff? There it is. Oh my goodness. So what we can increase is. Uh, Toughness, which was my first thought, but then again, as I just said, we're going to be really super at blaster, blaster rifles. I feel we'll get another one anyway, and then we'll increase toughness, and then we'll see what else we can get. But for now, I think blaster, blaster rifles will be the way to go. Uh, cool. Right, we'll get that as well. We need a couple more levels, so. It's quite arbitrary, really. I really should just do the recommended thing, shouldn't I? Oh, put it all in repair. Fair enough. Um, I'm not too worried about them, really. Uh, modified assassin protocols. Is that on this? Here we go. Um, so, when a critical hit is achieved, there is 20% chance of extra damage equal to one quarter of the target's remaining life. An attack is a fortitude save will make it avoid it. Okay, that's fair enough. So 20% 20, 20 chance that that test will have to be made. If it's failed, then he loses quarter of a life. Quarters of his life. One third. And then, same thing. Half. Yeah, that makes sense. That's really nice. Especially since it's um, passive. Droid interface. I think we should get that. And then maybe work on these skills. I don't know, there's toughness as well that I kind of like. Uh, I think this is retroactive as well, so it doesn't matter when I get it. I'm going to get the droid interface. And we're about there. Yeah, okay. Lavalet. But, as I said, I don't really want to take him because I don't think my character trusts him. So, uh, nice little look into uh, HK's abilities there but as much as he's funny and everything I oh hello okay what do you mean Pazak what again this is Ronto Scrag what house rule says I have to go first yeah well I'm still not convinced you aren't cheating warning if you draw another plus minus one card I will enact assassination protocols this droid is cleaning me out. <laughs> Can't you just take off your headwear while you're in the bloody... Uh... What do you... I don't... I Can I... But what are you playing? Pazak. Well, I'm playing. It's cheating. It's just better. How does he draw a card? <laughs> For a little... Whatever, little arm cheating. thing. I don't think my character has time for this. I don't, I, I don't, oh, fine, I'm going to shut it. Deal me in. Oh, this was a bad idea. Why did I say this? Why did I say this? I don't, I, I changed my mind. I don't want to. Oh, man. Fine. Duh. Oh, wait a minute. Well, how? Oh, I shouldn't. I don't. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, I, I get how to play it. Oh, all right then. I see. I'll do. Um, I forget what I'm doing. It's uh, got to get a 21, don't I? I forget. I forget what I'm doing. 
Uh, what am I trying to do? Oh God, I forgot. Um, was it 21 we're supposed to be? I don't remember the rules. Ah, oh, why did I play this? I can't remember the rules. Um, I'll unturn. I can't remember what I'm doing. Just forfeit the game. Just forfeit the game. Run away from that. I've forgotten what I'm doing. Well, what are you doing, T3? What are you doing? At least let, let, this led to something else, regardless. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement. I believe you've been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep hidden. Whoa. I'm glad I did the Pazak thing, only because of that. Maybe or maybe I would have just left and, and it would have done it. Uh where's um Statement. HK forty seven. Not that my character Ready knows that serve, happened. Master. But observation. Notice that I did not ask if you <laughs> kill. You may be curious as to why. Answer. That is because you told me to stop asking if you needed anyone killed. So I have. From now on, I will simply say, I am ready to serve. Yes, ready to serve. In whatever way a common protocol or utility droid might serve. Seems that that is my lot in life. Not to kill. Uh, if I let you ask if I need anyone killed, but don't order you to do so, will that be enough? I, I wonder why, why he's not talking about this whole T3 thing. Or maybe T3 wiped his memory of the entire thing. And what are you up to, T3? What are you doing? See, I don't want to annoy him too much, because he's like an assassination droid and stuff. Alright, you can say it. Fine, you can say it. It is a start, Master, and as such, is acceptable. If you happen to change your mind, however, I feel I must tell you, I will gladly kill anyone you ask. Please, I beg you. Just a quick death, a little one, to tide me over until the next firefight we're in. Combat is nice, but the stalking of prey is far more enjoyable. Bye. I hear you're wearing about. He's not going to say out, obviously. How's the Ebon Hawk? Brilliant. That's all. That's that's good job. Really appreciate your help. Good lads. What about the astro astrogation system? Okay. Never mind. Okay, well, I gained influence there, and I gained light side for not for, for, for saying well done for fixing the ship. Apparently, that's light side. How's he having hot now? Oh god, how's he? I gained I gained influence. Never mind then. Uh, right, let's just go. Let's just go. I've 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 been wandering around in this ship for. In fact, we might as well just end the video now, and then. <laughs> no, I'll get to a different area. And it is see, Atten's been here before. Kriya's useful so that's what I'm going to do we only went back to assemble the HK unit and that is what we've done and now we're going to head somewhere else we're going to go probably here the refugee sector and then we've got the entertainment promenade and then we've got the docks um, now I realize that I'm likely going to have to do some of the quests that I've missed I'll just skip to whatever you know, like the uh, dancing and going to the bazaar den and stuff like that. I realise that I've got to do that. Uh, it's just that at the time, 
my character really wouldn't, you know, she's just getting a feel for the place and everything and maybe add other quests and stuff to do, so I, I don't see it why she would, except isn't that, no, that's okay, different area entirely. Um, so, but I am going to go back there and I will explore them, don't worry about that, guys. Oh, look. I kind of am, in a way, actually. Don't know which one of these is best. And who do you think you are? The Overseers. Hmm. Why can't refugees leave? And who's this overseer? <laughs> oh, chap. Two cred thugs. Fifty credits isn't a lot. Look, I don't need to pay the toll. Just like a Jedi. <laughs> but I didn't want to attack them so much. Uh, too early to be causing the disturbance. Too much. But oh, look. I'll go this way then. Corridors, corridors, and corridors. Not what I expected. More corridors. This place is a lot of corridors. Less corridors, more housing. There might be more. Oh, there we go. This is what I expected. A big open area. With some veterans and such. I used to serve in the Mandalorian Wars. Then the Jedi Civil War crushed the Republic. Hmm. Hello. If you want to find out what's going on, talk to Husset. Sarquesh has got us hemmed in like animals. I wish someone would sneak into their camp and rob them blind. Sorry, sneaking's not really uh, my deal. Okay. Then wander in here and then wander out again. So these are cargo doors that they. well, cargo crates, I guess, that they're using as housing. Temporary. Temporary. Housing. Hello. Yatuka Uwanrika Chotin Wanima Urata Wakata Chi Luma Lithba. Huta Yanolia Jukta Genichu Bawanki Najung Winoton Mal no mi Rita. Sinta ti ta krom e docipato non e noto? Kabadumpa mo wendido chokerembi norta kunyun wish chawaka chuba sura dachi morotuko kansa. Hmm? Huh? You guys babbling on about. Oh, need a man to you, my lord, water. No sell. Break on Willy was a slim up of one. To break on Willy was a slim up of one. All right. Unta chiwita inca ki cry and a chawanga cone. I thought you might have. Well, not the you. I thought he's been here before. At Atten? Hmm. Ah, great. Starting to think that in this game you can't actually trust anyone, and apart from probably Bayodur, he's the only one who hasn't really done anything really odd. Hmm. How the hell did you know it was him, by the way? Just curious. Ah, yes, there he is. I suppose he might have the same clothes, but I mean, you don't remember someone's clothes. Plus, you know, it's just silly. Alright. 
Oh, actually, it's time to stop, guys. Sorry, you know, rules are rules. We shall uh, continue this next episode. I can't think, you know, I can't really think we didn't do much this episode. We talked to um, HK a lot. We did discover quite a bit about um, people and what's going on and our translator and T3's uh, not what he seems to be either. He's hiding something. But where he's been or where the ship's been? Interesting. Um, okay then, right, I'll see you. Intrig very intriguing. The plot does indeed, does indeed thicken, and of course this guy has uh, secrets of his own, and we don't even know where we've come from that much. Well, we do actually now. Yeah, we do. That was a lie. Oh, I should have just stop recording. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs>